Week one of the high school football season for a lot of 4A teams, obviously. It's the second game of the season, but officially week one around the state. And we brought back our Wild Preps Game of the Week feature. Our big school game of the week is voted on by you, the fans, is a top three matchup in 4A with number one East hosting the third-ranked Natrona County Mustangs, visiting with head coach Chad Goff of Shine East. And Chad, first of all, tell me, how did you think your team did in week zero on that win against Campbell County? Oh, good. I thought they played pretty good in all three phases of the game. I thought the special teams really set up both other sides of the ball and and uh, saw some really good things for some kids. You know, it's their first varsity start. And so that that always brings some nerves and stuff like that. And I thought they just settled in. And, and as the game progressed, things just got better for them. How would you describe your group this year? You know, they're, they're a group that's been together a long time, and there's a lot of returners on there that have played at the varsity level. And um, I think those kids have done a great job of bringing the other kids that are new to the varsity level. Um, so I think they're a pretty tight-knit group, um, and, and they're willing to work hard. You know, they're willing to grind out things in practice, and so that's always a positive. Um, but they're, they, they're good kids that live right. I don't have problems outside of football or anything like that with them, and um, they're just just really wholesome, good kids. Obviously, Cam Hayes does a lot for you at quarterback. What about defensively? Do you feel like you've kind of got a quarterback or, or a main guy or two on defense that you really can kind of, uh, I guess, count on leading that side of the ball for you this year? You know, I think our, our linebacking crew um, has done some good things, and, and they 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 know what we're doing. You know, bringing back Nathan Mirich on the outside linebacker position and his year-and-a-half experience there. And um, then you got Colby Dirks in the middle – who's done some really good things and Caleb Ruff, who kind of came in late last year after off, came off an injury. And so just those three linebackers alone, they bring back a lot of experience and they're able to check our defense to the right spots and do that kind of stuff. And then obviously drew in the back there, just his play back there to me has just progressed so much from where he was as a sophomore playing um, to where he's at right now um, just leads that secondary. What about Cam? What are you seeing from him? Uh, whether it was back in the off season to fall camp to game one, what are you looking at with Mr. Hayes? You know, I just think he sees everything better. You know, as, as you get all those reps, you just get rep after rep after rep for now, you know, he had a year and a half, uh, a little bit uh, less than that going into this season. And then um, to, to have that, those reps and then go to camp, you could see it at camp, like how the game um, he sees it better and he sees it he, like he there's things he does in practice. I said, why'd you do that? He goes, just cause I knew just to, just to check it that way. You know, like he kept a tight end, tight end in, which we haven't even worked on one day in practice. I go, what did you tell him? He goes, I just told him to stay because I knew where I, what I was going to do, you know? And so his, his knowledge of our offense and, and what he needs to do to, to make everyone else successful is just, just keeps getting better day after day, I think. What are your thoughts on this matchup against the Mustangs? What do you kind of look at when you see Coach Harshman's squad? You know, they're just a solid group every year. You know, their defense, obviously, you go look at the stats. They didn't allow very many yards last last week. Uh, but they're always well coached. They always got numbers. You know, they, they played a lot of kids out that first week. You know, a couple different running backs, a couple different quarterbacks. And so they're, they're building that depth. Um, they're just such a well coached team. And, and like I told our kids, that this is one of the games I truly love. I love playing Natrona County because it kind of tells you where you're at a little bit um, because they're always predominantly so good. And so, uh, you know, it's just been a great matchup for us um, throughout our, the career of this staff. Speaking of that, what are some things that you really emphasize with your team as you get ready to play Natrona? You know, with a team like Natrona that doesn't really make many mistakes on defense, you, you got to be better on offense. Our offense last week was good, but our special team set us up to be good as well. Okay. Um, we punted more times than I would like to punt last week. I think we had to punt three times. And so that's something that against Natrona, we got we to gotta make sure that our offense is not – taking so long to fill each other out like we just got to do what we do and put ourselves in good in good positions um but you know with the Trona's defense you just they're just hard nosed every year they're just right there <laughs> it, it, I don't know that how many years you could go back and find out that they weren't in the top two to be yeah. honest with you so you, you better show up to play and you got to be mistake free when you play a program like the Trona. Chad that's all I got from you I appreciate it best thank luck Friday at home all right thank you we continue our conversation for the Wild Preps fan-voted Big School Game of the Week. It takes us to 4A, and 
Top ranked Shine East hosting third ranked Natrona County Friday night at Oki Blanchard Stadium in the capital city, visiting with Natrona head coach Steve Harshman. Coach, your team coming off a really good win against Laramie last week. You and I actually had a chance to talk because I'm still doing the Laramie games. You wanted to be better at the end of the game than when you started. Did you accomplish that goal? Yeah, you know, first of all, thanks for doing the prep sports. You know, it's kind of a dying thing. You know, I remember <laughs> Tim Ray and you know, and uh, Frank and all the guys here in Casper, and it's kind of gone away and uh, really appreciate it. I think you said you've been doing it 25 years now. So yeah. <laughs> Plainsmen are fortunate to have you there. So appreciate you being up here. But, you know, I think we probably did. I think we adjusted to the speed and, you know, the Laramie kids got better too. I think in the first half, you know, we took the opening drive of the season down the one yard line, went backwards, you know, and yeah. that's not anything you ever want to happen. And, and we should have done some substitutions as a coaching thing. We should have been better and got that taken care of. And then we stalled out again on the seven and the 12 and came away with no points, a couple missed field goals. So I think we second half, the difference was really we converted those, you know, and, and uh, so I was really pleased with our guys. I thought defensively, we just kept getting better and running the football better and, and uh, so, yeah, I mean, lots to improve on. We're going to all keep getting better. That's the beauty of this. So, <laughs> What's been the focus this week in practice as you prepare for Shine East? Yeah, I think, you know, some of the things, a lot of it's, you know, learning East. They do a lot of things, have a lot of weapons and, uh, and uh, a lot of good players back. And so, mm -hmm. you know, I think that that's been a big part of the focus, but also just improving you know, our game, our fundamentals. And, and, you know, that's, that's the focus every week is try to get a little bit better. And, and um, so I think we've done that, you know, and, and it's uh, going through that process is our first week of school. So you could tell it kind of had a little, you know, we had a little dip in the middle of the week. Kids are tired. It's a different schedule. And so uh, I think part of that's a big part of that, just kind of getting recovered for us. Hopefully we've recovered when we head on down there, you know, and ready to go. Speaking of Chinese, what are your impressions of Coach Goff's bunch this season? Well, you know, the quarterback running back duo are, are back, and uh, they're really, you know, they're really dynamic. They've added a couple other guys where they lost some guys, you know, Kazix and Slavs last year. And so, <clears throat> so they're, they haven't missed, you know, those two, they are tough to replace, but they got good players in those spots. So, uh, they just spread the ball around a lot and they do it very quickly. I mean, it's a, it's not something you've got a lot of time to think about and it's a fast paced offense. And, uh, and so, you know, I think in, and where they can attack you, the width of it, but also down the field as well and all across the front, they have a nice running game as well as a passing game. So, and then I think they play a good multiple uh, defense and their special teams very good. They're kicking most of their kicks in the end zone. They got a great return game. Their punter is real good as their defensive lineman, and <laughs> and uh, so they've kind of they've got a full package of guys back. Lastly, what are some big things for you to stress to your team as important keys Friday against the Thunderbirds on the road, especially? Yeah, you know, I think um, um, you look back to last year we had two games against East, probably the strangest starts to any games I've ever coached. And East took the ball down the field both times and scored. It took them a while. They had to chip, 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 convert some plays. We literally fumbled the first play of the game last year on the 10-yard line, and then they ended up scoring three, four plays later. Two plays later, we threw an interception for a touchdown. So we were down 21 nothing, and the game had hardly started. I think we'd ran four plays. And uh, the semifinals, the exact same thing. And we pulled that semifinal game back to a six-point game with six minutes, and then our quarterback got hurt, and we threw a pick six, and the wheels kind of fell off. But you can't have a good team like that and start 21 nothing down in the first three minutes of the game. And so I think as much as anything for us, you know, is to start – start well whether it's offense or defense and get going and and uh and I like our guys I really think we're gonna we're gonna keep playing well and keep playing tough and getting better I think we're getting in pretty good shape and uh and we've got about three guys that are out with injuries a couple of them they brought 
with them, and we're still missing those guys. Um, be another week or two, but uh, I think we're getting better, and so that's the main thing. Start fast and hang in there because, you know, and uh, the game's not over till it's over, so that's with our guys. Keep battling. Steve, that's all I needed. I appreciate your time. Thanks so much, and good luck Friday at Chinese. Okay, thank you. Appreciate you. Thanks.